Hello and welcome. This is Rufamonger, my friends. Today I want to talk about balance changes for Mortal Kombat 11, but perhaps in a more roundabout way. So Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, well, let's face it, the new car smells worn off by now, right? We know what the game is now as it stands, and now we gotta look forward to the future for, you know, character tweaks. Because while Ultimate certainly changed a lot, absolutely, no doubt about it, it didn't go too hardcore into character changes other than, you know, tweaks to the pokes and all that kind of stuff. So let's look at how to change characters, not from just the perspective of the usual way of, you know, tweaking moves, adding or removing frames, all that kind of stuff, you know, because we'll just wind up with this video again where I complain about Shao Kahn. Uh, so instead of that, let's talk about a new way to balance people now that variations are so blown open and balancing people through variation points because as it stands currently they still haven't changed the point values for anything and i think that's a very valid way in the future to look forward to how to balance characters so let's look at some character point values here really quick right so let's start with say shiva so shiva <laughs> Uh, so Shiva, the old dragon stance, is a single point. Now, uh, we've dedicated a whole video to this in the past, just how insane dragon stance is. Uh, and it single-handedly catapulted uh, Shiva up the tier list. Like, legitimately. It's such a good move. And it's only a single point. Now, let's flip the script here a little bit. Now, I don't know how much time you guys have put in the Nightwolf, right? Everyone knows Nightwolf's a good character. Maybe not the best, but he's certainly a solid character, right? But let's look at stuff like Rising Tomahawk. Rising Tomahawk here, man, oh man. So it's a launcher, sure. But is it a good one, really? Like, compared to some other characters, is it worth two points? No. Like... His damage mid-screen is average at best, and he gets pretty good corner damage. Uh, the one really good one is like an ultra-tight link that's, you know, uh, not advisable most of the time. But he gets all right corner damage, right? But is it worth two points? Man, like most characters have a launcher just in the base moveset, right? Is this worth two points? In my opinion, hell no, it is not. So that, in essence, is... Where we look at now, balancing characters not just through the usual means, but also balancing the characters via variation points. I don't want them to cripple Dragon Stance. It's good where it is, but maybe make it a two-point move. So you can still take Dragon Stance. It's as every good as bit as it's been. And then, you know, if you want to be a scumbag about it, right? You know, take an Dragon Drop, go for maximum stomps. Uh, stomps are even better after the patch, just so you know. Uh, but yeah, so then we have a, still an incredibly strong character, but you don't get these two and then something else. So it's a great way to balance them. And then once again here, now moving back to Nightwolf as an example. So we can take our Rising Tomahawk, our launcher at one point. I think it's completely fair to make it a one point move. It's like not a great juggle, to be honest with you. Uh, so why is it two points? So make it a one point move and then we can just make things a little bit more interesting. Like a Night Wolf with Rising Tomahawk, the Tomahawk Swing, that's the command grab, and Lightning Arrows, that's an interesting character. That is a character I'd be very interested in trying out. So all of a sudden we get a character whose biggest criticism isn't that he's bad, but he's bland. And we get to get a character who's considered bland by many, and then all of a sudden they're a lot more interesting and, in my opinion, a lot more balanced because, once again, this is that was kind of the idea of the video is I just look at Rise of Tom Hawk and I'm like, why is this two points? It doesn't need to be. And then once we take this logic and apply it to other characters, there's a lot more we can do with it. So let's say Collector here. So Collector, I'm going to tell you right now, Relic Lure is not worth two points. Not at all. Uh, so, whew, that's one we can easily knock down to one. Another one, since I know a lot of people are complaining, Chemical Burn for Kano. Now, I'm not personally advocating this, so calm down in the comments, but this is another one if they so determined, Chemical Burn could be up to two points, right? Because Chemical Burn's really crazy. So now with this logic in mind, let's kind of take it to another different angle. So Shang Tsung has the only three point move in the game, Shapeshifter's Training, which gives you access to all the ninja moves, right? 
And this is another avenue we can look at it where we can get basically, for lack of a better term, a discount bundle. Wherein we can get a multi-point move and it's basically just a grab bag of different moves ahead of the cost of them being separate. So for the sake of an idea, right, let's go back to Collector here. So we'll get Bag Bomb, Vilasoro, and Demonic Comet. So Demonic Comet lets you use those two other moves in the air. We take all these three moves and we bundle them together as like a two-point move. Now, this would actually be too strong. In my opinion, this is still the best way to play Collector, in my personal opinion, as a Collector fan. But just as an idea, right? We get these three guys, which are inherently and intrinsically linked to each other. We take them three, we bundle them together in a discount package. Or let's move to someone like Baraka, right? Let's go with all the flag moves here. We take all the flag moves. So we'll take a three point move and on top of that, we'll add say the Baraka Barrage here, the one who gives them extra little pokes. Because with the advent of custom variations, everyone who still took gut it, that was the first thing they got rid of, right? But now we have a three point move. We get uh, all the banner moves and then say extra things just as an added bonus an added value. And then all of a sudden we have a more attractive package. And in the end, I guess that's just one of my thoughts on how to rebalance this game outside of the usual thing, which they should still do absolutely. But this is just a new angle for it, thanks to competitive variations being opened up. Like I mentioned Kano here, but just another example for Kano. Like, yo, Snake Bite is not a two point move. Snake Bite is not a great launcher. Let's just be real, right? Is this worth two points? Absolutely not. So this is another example, just cut it down to one point and all of a sudden, maybe you'll start seeing some people picking it. Uh, just so many of the moves now that we can just pick and choose whatever we want, they really need a fine comb over because so many things need a point reduction and a few things like as we talked about Shiva, maybe up at one point, but don't nerf and don't cripple the move. So the people who like the move, they can still use it, but they maybe get just a little something less on the other end of things. Anyway, anyways, that is my idea, and that's an angle for the game I'm interested in seeing them implement. That said, with this idea in mind, is there any specific moves you would like to see either reduced in point cost or increase in point cost? Hey, post in the comments below. But for now, my friends, I guess that is it for this video. So hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Mortal Kombat.